Alright, this is a quick lesson on adding and subtracting radicals. And not just any radicals, we're talking specifically about square roots, but all radicals work the same way. What you do have to keep in mind, first of all though, is uh, we have to be able to simplify radicals to do this. So, for example, uh, square root of 8 is a 4 times 2. And when you have multiplication, you can break these apart which gives you the square root of 4 is 2 times root 2 which we write as 2 root 2 and that's going to be important uh, to be able to simplify these so that we can add radicals together in order to erase that stuff and delete some of it, there we go in order to add radicals, um, they have to have two things in common. They have to have the same index to add them, and the same radicand. And so, if I want to add uh, 3 root 2's plus 5 root 2's, their index is the fact that they're both square roots. It's a little number outside the radical. Um, we don't show that for square roots. I've talked about that previously. Let's just review it very quickly. Here's the root symbol. The number up here is called the index. Uh, usually it's a 2 for square root, but because that's so common, we don't even show it most of the time, as in the problem down below. And underneath here is the radicand. So in order to add two radicals together, they have to have the same index, both be square roots, cube roots, or fourth roots, and the same radicand. So if we look at this problem down here, I've got square roots of 2, 3 square roots of 2's, 5 square roots of 2's, so together I have 8 square roots of 2. And so the key thing is, as long as they're both square roots and they have the same radicand, I just add this coefficient in front of the radical. And that's all there is to it. So let's say I've got uh, 3 root 10. Uh, this time let's do a subtraction. Minus 5 root 10. They're both square roots of 10. How many do I have? Well, I've got negative 2 root 10. 3 minus 5. So I've got 15 root 11's and I take away a root 11. Remember there has to be a 1 in front of this. We don't usually show it but it can't be 0 because then it wouldn't even be a value right there. 0 times anything is 0. So if we don't show that 1 still exists there. So this is 15 root 11's. Take away 1 root 11. That's 14 root 11. If you have radicands that are different, in this case, there's nothing we can do about that. I've got two root 6's and three root 3's. I cannot add them and I just have to leave them as separate terms. In some cases we can do things. For example, in this problem, all my radicands are different, but they are not in simplest form yet. So 27 here is 9 times 3, and I can square root the 9. That's a 3 root 3. Can't square root 3, so it stays this way. 48 is 16 times 3. So I'm going to show all the steps. So it's 3 times, square root of 16 is 4. And so I've got 3 root 3's plus the root 3 minus 12 root 3's. These are all like radicals. And so I can add their coefficients. I've got 3 plus 1 minus the 12 root 3's. That's 4 minus 12 or negative 8 root 3's. So we add radicals 
just by adding their coefficients if they are like radicals. Okay. Let's do one more with some variables in it. I'll do 5 times 8y to the 5th plus 4y times 18y to the 3rd. So obviously not like radicals, but let's break them down. 8 is 4 times 2. y to the 5th is a y squared squared times y. Okay, remember, these things match. Uh, we've got ourselves a perfect square. And 4 is a perfect square. So, on the outside, I'd have the 5 that's there. I'd square root the 4, which is 2. I'd square root the y squared squared, which is y squared. And I'd be left with the 2 and the y on the inside. On the next term here, um, 18, I can factor as 9 times 2. 9 is a perfect square. And y cubed is y squared times y. In this case, I square root the 9. So on the outside, here's my plus sign. I've got a 4 times y. That's already out here. I square root the 9. That's a 3 that comes out. I square root y squared. That's a y that comes out. And I'm left with the 2 and the y on the inside. Now my radicals are exactly the same. I'm going to clean up the outsides a bit. I can multiply some of this. So 4 times 3 and y times y. And it looks like I've got 10 y squared root 2 y's. 10 of those. I've got 12 y squared root 2 y's. So together, I've got 22 y squared root 2 y's. And that is how you add radicals.